we are here in Tokyo. It's actually my last day. Before I leave, I need to try out Wendy's in Japan because I heard they have a lot of different things that we don't have in the US. And if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with Wendy's boba. So I thought this would be an awesome chance for me to try out a lot of different items that they only have here. So I'm gonna go look at their menu, check out what they have, see what it's all about, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go. Okay, so I just got all my food and <laughs> the ladies here are so kind. They helped me bring all my stuff upstairs because I'm actually going to the airport after this so I have all my luggage and stuff with me. So they helped me bring all my food upstairs because trust me, there's a lot, especially for only one person. But it's my last meal in Japan so you gotta go all out, right? And also I have this really great window view. Let me just show you guys. So that's you there. And look at this view. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And you can see all the people walking. The train station's right there, so there's a lot of activity here. I just really appreciate it because I never get such a nice view when I'm filming. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the food. So I got a few items. I got some of their burger items as well as their spaghetti, which like it's crazy that they sell spaghetti here. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know what's up. This is my favorite. Like last time I came to Japan, I was like, whoa, Wendy sells boba. And I was just like on a whim. I was like, oh, let's just try it. We're here, might as well, right? And it turned out to be life-changing. It's so good. The matcha is my favorite. Although I haven't tried all of them, but I always just get the matcha one because you're in Japan. Why not get matcha? I cannot explain in words my love for this drink. And I don't know if it's because I just didn't expect it to be good at all and it really just like blew my mind because of that or if it's actually just like really good I don't know I've had a very good experience with this I'm really excited so let's drink I know it's good mm. and something about the milk it's very milky so I'm pretty sure it's just like matcha milk and then boba and the boba is green at the bottom I don't know if it's like the boba is actually matcha flavored It's hard to tell, but either way, it's very good. The boba is really nice and soft and chewy. Mm. Mm. You just never would have expected boba from Wendy's would be this good. Oh my gosh. Mm. So good. All right, let's get into some of the entree items that we ordered. So why don't we start with this Rapongi beef, bacon, and egg sandwich. It looks like it has some, I don't really know what that is. I think it's just like mayo with some onions and maybe some chopped up pickles in there as well. And then I just tried to take this bacon out, but I think it's actually in the egg. How weird. And also look at the bun. It has this like thing. Okay, I have to admit, I pretty much never eat at Wendy's when I'm in America. So don't really know anything about Wendy's. I think I got a Frosty once, like in high school. Do Wendy's in the US burgers have this like stripe thing? Let me know, cause I have no idea. And the bun is like a little bit firm on the top, but it's still like pillowy when you push it down. It's like soft. And you can definitely tell it's toasted by those crisped up edges. All right, let's try this. Not a bad burger. It is a little bit dry, I think from the patty, but there's actually a lot of good flavor here. You got the richness from the egg yolk and it's also bouncy from the egg white. The bun is nice and soft and I think they have a sauce on top that's actually ketchup. I like the size of it. It's like not too big, kind of just like a little like handheld burger. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm not like super impressed by it, but I, I like it. Mm. Next up, I'm gonna try this spaghetti which is super cool that they have spaghetti at Wendy's. And this is the cod row spaghetti. So men, mentai, mentaiko, I don't know. And it came with some nori on top as well. You can see the little specks of cod row in there and it's just coating the spaghetti. So let's give it a try. Mm, wow, the noodles actually have like a nice bouncy chew to it. I wasn't expecting that. I'm actually pretty impressed. There is like a little bit of a kick. I think it's like the spicy cod roe. It's like 
not super flavorful, very light in flavor, but just enough, you know? These noodles remind me more of like Asian noodles rather than Italian spaghetti because of like the chewiness and the springiness. That's why I, I really didn't expect it when I first started eating, but yeah, actually I actually really like it. And before we move on to the next entree, I also got this peach tea float, which clearly has melted like crazy. It's so hot right now in Japan. I'm gonna try to kind of mix that soft serve in there. Ooh, okay. Let's try it. Oh, wow. The peach tea is actually very sweet. Like, it's not the kind of peach tea that I'm used to. I think they probably use like a syrup in it and it makes it taste a lot like peach rings, but you still get that hint of refreshingness from the tea. So it's actually really sweet. And then adding the soft serve, I'm sure it makes it even sweeter. Actually, I like adding the soft serve because it adds a nice like creaminess to it, almost kind of like a milk tea, but not really. But they just go together really well and make this really nice, creamy, refreshing drink. All right, so next up, let's try this chicken burger. It was called like umami chicken something. I'll put the name up on the screen because I can't remember right now. The texture of this fried chicken looks like popcorn chicken. You know, like Taiwanese popcorn chicken. And then when you open it, you got that classic kind of like lettuce. And there's definitely a little bit of mayo in there as well. It smells really good. It smells like popcorn chicken. Mm, okay, let's try it. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. So initially when I bit in, I got this huge chunk of breading. There's like this part in here that is just a thick layer of breading. So it was very, very crunchy, which I actually liked. And it had that kind of popcorn chicken-esque flavor to it. But then as I kept chewing and I was trying to swallow, I actually realized it's very dry because there's not enough mayo, I think. You can see the chicken in there is actually pretty juicy, but it's not juicy enough to like make up for the dry breading. I actually like the way that they fried the chicken though, because I prefer this kind of more Asian style chicken. I don't even know how to describe it, but you know how like Asian fried chicken is more like this? <laughs> I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about or if I make any sense, but I actually prefer this to like the normal fried chicken battering and breading that the American fast food chains use. Maybe it's also like a nostalgic thing because I grew up eating popcorn chicken. I don't know. I prefer it to the American fast food kind. So yeah, it's a little bit on the drier side. I still like it. It's not my favorite, but you know, I'll still eat it. And before we get some dessert, I also got some fries because your girl loves fries. And they had this option to actually get like some kind of seasoning on it as well. I saw the fries and then there's like a list of different kinds of flavors. I thought maybe it's like the McDonald's Shake Shake fries, but I don't think so because they just gave me this bag and there's no um, powder to put on the fries. So the fries just look like that. I ended up getting like a burnt soy sauce flavor, which I thought sounded really interesting. I don't know if you can see, but there's some seasoning bits on there for sure. Let's try it. Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, definitely a lot of flavor. Like even though it didn't look like there was that much seasoning on it, the flavor is very, very strong, very intense. Definitely got that savoriness from the soy sauce. And I was scared when I saw that I said burnt soy sauce that I don't know if I would like burnt soy sauce, but it's actually quite tasty. I do have a complaint that my fries aren't that crispy, but also I ate all those other things before it. So maybe it being in the bag for too long made it a little soggy, but the girl loves her fries. Mm. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, we got some dessert and this is soft serve, so we better work quickly or else it's gonna melt. So this is the warabi mochi with a soft serve and sugar syrup is what they called it. So I'm really excited because I think the soft serve is a Hokkaido milk soft serve, which is always really good. And then I love warabi mochi as well. So yeah, I can't believe that they sell this at Wendy's. <laughs> I never would have expected that, but let's try it and see if it's any good. Oh my gosh, these mochi pieces are big. Look how huge that mochi piece is. And it's covered in powder. I think it's Kanako powder. Let's try it. Mm. The mochi isn't as chewy as I would like. Like I know warabi mochi in general is less chewy than like normal mochi, but this one more of a jelly-like mochi. Usually I expect more of a chew. It's still not bad though. Like of course I'd still eat it. That mochi was so big that I didn't really get much of the soft serve. So let's try this. 
Mmm. Oh wow. It's really creamy. Got a milky flavor to it. I'm pretty sure this is the same soft serve that we had on that peach float. It's like a nice small dessert after your meal. And I love how it's like kind of like a little sundae because you have your soft serve and you have your toppings with the mochi and then you have your little drizzle of sugar syrup. So it's kind of like like a kind of like a, a sundae. I don't know. Mm. Even though I got the warabi mochi one, they also have like a normal mochi one. I believe it also comes with red bean. But I thought this was a little bit more unique, so that's why I ordered this one. But if you like that more classic mochi, then definitely try their mochi with red bean one. Mm. So that was an awesome last meal in Tokyo. I had such a great time at Wendy's. The staff was super nice, the views were beautiful, and the food was pretty good. Um, I definitely have to say, still my favorite is the Wendy's boba, but I also really liked their cod roast spaghetti. So I definitely recommend trying that out if you ever are at Wendy's in Japan. So yeah, if you like these Japan fast food videos, I actually have a McDonald's video where I tried the very hype zucchini burger, and I also have a video on Freshness Burger, which is a really, really great fast food restaurant in Japan. And I highly recommend that you check out those videos below. And yeah, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!